Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the speed sensor in your GE washer, these are the tools you'll need. Before you begin the procedure, shut off the water supply. Unplug the power to the appliance. Remove the drain line from the wall. Remove the hot and cold water supply lines from the inlet valves. Tip the washer back and prop it up using a wooden block or chair. Unthread the three screws on the protective belt cover to remove it. Using the 14 millimeter socket, unthread the nut. Pull the belt off of the big pulley first, then remove it. Remove the pulley off the shaft. Using the flathead screwdriver, apply outward pressure on the speed sensor while using the pick to undo the holding tabs. Then slide the sensor off. Pull up on the red safety tab to unlock the speed sensor connector, then unplug it. To install the new speed sensor, plug in the speed sensor and push down on the red tab to lock the connector. Slide the speed sensor over the motor frame and press to snap in place. Slide the pulley on the shaft and line it up with the splines. Then thread the nut onto the shaft. While tightening, the pulley will seat into position. Place the belt rib side facing inward over the big pulley, then stretch the belt over the small pulley. Rotate the pulleys to align the belt properly. Align the cover and start one of the three screws. Place the grounding connector over the screw and re-thread it to the bottom of the transmission. Now re-thread the last screw. Set the washer upright. Insert the drain hose back into the wall drain. Reattach the hot and cold water supply lines. Turn on the water supply. Plug in the power. And your washer should be ready for use.